Canada for the first time in your career, and also how has training with Faraz in, uh, in Montreal at TriStar helped you evolve as a fighter? Uh, it's awesome, you know, obviously I spent a lot of time in, in Montreal training, uh, and uh, I love coming here, you know, the fans are as passionate as it gets, and just a beautiful city here in Vancouver, this is my second time here, and uh, very excited to, to get the opportunity to train with Faraz when I switched that up, it was one of the best decisions I made for my career. Uh, every training camp I get better. We're always evolving. Uh, I have so many different uh, training partners to choose from. And, uh, man, I, I feel better all the time. So it, it's been awesome. And a uh, question for Shane. Uh, Cain Velasquez told me that he believes Junior Dos Santos has the best boxing in mixed martial arts and certainly in the heavyweight division. A lot's being made uh, in this fight about your power versus his speed, but how do you break down your technical boxing skills and your overall striking compared to Junior and compared to other heavyweights? Uh, you know, Junior, he does have, he's got great boxing. It's, let's face it, it's what's got him here. Uh, you know, he's one of the top heavyweights in the world and one of the top fighters in the world. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, I'm no new opponent to top opponents here in the UFC. So, you know, this is the, the fourth top 10 guy I fought in the UFC. And, uh, you know, I'm excited to bring my skills and, uh, you know, see what happens on Saturday. This, this is uh, it's going to be an explosive fight. I believe in my power and knocking people out, and I know he does as well. Hey, Dana, Darcy McBride from uh, Team Radio in the back. Mm -hmm. uh, I got a question for Junior, but first I wanted to ask you, we heard a lot of rumblings yesterday online about the possible purchase of the G4 network, and we've also heard rumblings of Bellator possibly finding a home on Spike. Maybe elaborate on that a little bit. and uh, Or maybe not. Or, or maybe <laughs> not, right? But maybe uh, elaborate on that a little bit and let us know maybe if, uh, if there are plans to move the Ultimate Fighter, or is it just too early to, to really yeah, give us a word? What, what I said, and I said this to the media at the last fight when we all talked, we're talking to everybody right now. We're talking to everybody. There is no deal with anybody. We're talking to everybody. If that was true, trust me, I'd be up here. I'd be up here talking about it right now. Fair enough. And for Junior, um, you spoke a minute ago about being away from the cage for 10 months. Is it kind of nice to come in and be able to have a fight, you know, before potentially fighting for a title instead of having to fight for a title after a 10-month layoff? Ele está perguntando se tem 10 meses desde a da última luta tua, um, se você se sente mais confortável lutando uma vez antes que você luta pelo título, tendo tanto tempo sem lutar. Yeah, when uh, when my manager told me about uh, Ken Velasquez couldn't fight against me, uh, I I asked I asked them I asked UFC and uh, my manager for another fight, you know. Then they put me to um, to to do the show. And yeah, yeah, I'm glad, you know, too much stop. So, so you, we, I, we are fighters and you have to be fighting to be in shape. So I'm glad to be fighting again before the, before the title. Dana, hi. Hi. This is Nadine with BCMMA. Um, I actually have a question. I hear that Joe Rogan's been training over at Eddie Bravo's. Any chance we're gonna see him in the ring? Uh, I doubt it. <laughs> Joe Rogan's been training for a long time, even when he was back on news radio. That's why he's, uh, A, he's passionate about the sport, and B, knows so much about it. He's, he's, uh, he's very into it. He's very good at jiu-jitsu. Um, he comes from taekwondo, but uh, I, I doubt you'll see Joe fighting anytime soon. And uh, one more question, please. Now, I understand uh, Carmen was set up to be uh, fighting with John, o Olav, and Nemo. And uh, can we expect to see a rematch or anything like that coming up in the future? Well, I think this is a, a much bigger fight. Uh, no disrespect, uh, but this is a much bigger fight for him. He jumped at the opportunity. And like I said, this is one of the, one of the things that people love. People who are huge fight fans love good heavyweight fights. And this is one of the best heavyweight fights we've had in a long time. It just happened this way. And, and it's a huge opportunity. He jumped at it. He jumped at it. And the winner of this fight gets, gets Cain Velasquez. So uh, his former opponent is going to have to work his way up to him now. All right, thank you. All right. Dana, uh, it's Craig from Team Radio again. You, you touched on it earlier. You're from Boston. Kenny, you're from Boston. Just wondering if we can get both of your thoughts on coming into Canuck country here. It's uh, overwhelming the media coverage, obviously, that the Canucks are getting right now. And you guys are Bostonians. I don't know. Is it ironic that you guys are coming in? And uh, are you cheering for Boston? Or Dana, are you going to go to the game tomorrow night? I, 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 can't, I, can't, <laughs> I came in town last night and tweeted. It was right after the game was over. What's up, Vancouver? And I didn't get some very good responses. Uh, <laughs> people weren't too happy here yesterday. 
And I'm not, listen, you know, I got a big mouth and I talk a lot of smack sometimes. I'm not messing with this whole hockey thing, man. Just like religion to you guys up here. I'm not, listen, I'm from Boston. I'm impartial. <laughs> Kenny, you go. I'm in the same boat. I'm not going to sit here and, uh, you know, say go Bruins, but go Bruins. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm excited. It's, it's been an unbelievable series of hockey. I got a, a few buddies on, <laughs> I got a few buddies on the Bruins team, so hey, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing what happens. Either way, you know, it's been a great series, so uh, I'm happy for them. And there were more fights last night than there probably will be on Saturday. Yeah. It's one of the craziest games I've ever seen. Yeah. And I only saw the highlights. Hi. Dana? <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Here. And, uh, yep. hey. I'm Victor from RedeTV Brazil. Uh, it's obviously that everybody is a great MMA fighter, but everybody has a, uh, his own style, like Cigano is a great boxer, and uh, Diego is a great Muay Thai and kickboxing. Do you still think that the UFC has the, the old feeling to, to put uh, facing each other, like a great Jiu-Jitsu guy against a great Muay Thai guy or a great wrestling guy uh, versus a, a great uh, boxer guy? Well, uh, these days you better be great at everything or you're in a lot of trouble. And one of the things stylistically that makes this fight so interesting is, A, obviously the power in both of these guys. They, they can knock you out with either hand at any moment. The other thing is, he's got a uh, good, powerful stand-up. He's got great hands. He's got good takedown defense. He's got great wrestling. If he gets down, he's got good jujitsu. It's, you know, this is a really, really good fight. I'm not up here yapping just to pump up the fight. Anybody who knows anything about the sport knows this is probably one of the best heavyweight fights we've had in a long time. And stylistically, these two match up very well. Thank you. For Eve, over here. A, a year ago, you weren't even in the UFC. Now you've won two in a row, and here you are at the press conference getting a lot more attention. Can you put into words what this last year has been like for you to get this sort of revival of your career, in, in a sense? It's, it's been pretty good uh, the whole time since, since my fight with Joe Stevenson and I left the UFC. I've wanted to work my way back in. Uh, I think the time that I had outside of the UFC made some mistakes, uh, did some things wrong. But I think by doing the right things in training, doing the right things in camps, um, I've been able to get back in. Uh, and with, with the UFC being what it is now, it's, it's a completely new animal. Um, the fans, are, it's, it's crazy like to see this happening. I mean, we, we never had fans like this many people at post-fight press conferences before, you know, <laughs> um, that were wide open to the public. This, this is kind of crazy to me, but I've, I've, I've come to appreciate it, and it's, it's really good to be back, you know. I, I ran into Dana a few times um, while I was not signed, and I told him, you know, it's, it's, I'm just working to get back home, and um, it really feels like I'm back home.